Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with cloud storage. Our viewer wants to know how to read an image file from an S3 bucket directly into memory without saving it to the local directory first. Let's dive into the code they provided and explore how we can optimize this process. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. To read an image file directly from an S3 bucket into memory, we can use the Boto3 library to access the file without downloading it to disk. First, we need to import the necessary libraries. We'll use Boto3 to interact with S3 and Bytes.io to handle the in-memory file. Next, we create a function to read the image directly into memory. We'll use the getObject method from Boto3 to retrieve the image data. Now, we can use Bytes.io to convert the image data into a format that Matplotlib can read. This allows us to display the image without saving it to disk. Finally, by following these steps, you can efficiently read and display images from an S3 bucket directly in memory, avoiding unnecessary file downloads. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To read an image file from an S3 bucket directly into memory, you can use the following code. First, access the object in the bucket, then retrieve the image data. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To read an image file from an S3 bucket directly into memory, you can use the Boto3 library in Python. First, ensure your AWS credentials are stored securely, not hard-coded in your script. Here's a code snippet to get you started. Use the image from S3 function, passing your bucket name and the file path to retrieve the image. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To read an image file from an S3 bucket directly into memory, a temporary file solution is effective. However, there can be an issue with lazy downloading, which results in an empty shape when checking dimensions. To resolve this, you can use the seek method on the file descriptor after downloading the file. This ensures that subsequent operations return the correct dimensions. Here's a quick code snippet demonstrating the solution. It shows how to download the file, seek to the end, and read the image dimensions correctly. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
To read an image file from an S3 bucket directly into memory, first ensure you're handling byte data. TensorFlow requires a string tensor to convert this data into a uint8 image, and you won't need Pillow for this process. Here's a quick code example. Start by importing the necessary libraries and setting up your AWS credentials. Then specify your bucket name and file key to retrieve the image. After retrieving the image object, read its content in bytes. Then, convert this byte data into a TensorFlow tensor, decode it, and resize the image as needed. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through and found the answer that you're looking for. And look, if we did find that answer in your resolution, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need technical videos, I hope you have a good one. Bye. 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 Bye.